crystal in his gauntlet. Renata had a sudden vision. Charred fields covered in dead ravens below a black sun. Was it the time of the lost gods before the transcendent emperor? Was it the future? It whispered. To take the power. He could feel the stone's hunger for souls. Its thirst for blood. All right, I get it. This was going to be interesting. Ice walls only let you through if they knew you were cool. Anyone ever tell you you have a lovely eye? No? Zenobia was waiting for Renardo. She was alone, confident as always. Fire danced at the tips of her claws. Are you here to surrender? She seemed as cocksure as he felt. But she didn't know he had the stone. And I've missed you too, love. He chuckled. She spotted the stone and bolted without another word. Hey! Hey, a workbench! He could try out his new bling. sword felt even colder. You guys interested in real estate? Because you're about to buy the farm. Renato went to the china shop. For some reason, the owner was always nervous.
on Zenobia's island were no match for Renardo. They screamed as the stones sucked out their souls. And with each death, he felt stronger. Take the power. The stone told him. Finally, Renardo caught up to her. He had never seen her scared before. At school, she'd been the determined, brave one. Now her eyes were wide, frightened. He didn't like seeing her this way. Kill her, whispered the stone. You cannot win your rebellion without it. Please. No, said Zenobia. Not that way. Oh, they had been so close once. Could he really feed her soul to his demonic gem? But if he spared her, he would not get the full power of the stone. Oh, how could he be the hero he wanted to be? With a flick of his wrist, he slashed Zenobia's throat. Her eyes widened even more. And then the light went out of them. Renardo felt amazing. Power was rushing into him like water from a burst dam. Oh, such brilliance, exalted the Iblis stone. Mm. Tasty. Renardo returns to the Farfarer and set a course for the Nexus. The Empire had a communication outpost there. He could call the Emperor directly. It was time to seize the outpost and let the Emperor know what he had done. The Nexus was beautiful. We never realized how beautiful. Everything glowed. The wind was so sweet. The sun so soft. The stones so warm. The black raven feathers. Black feathers. Suddenly, his eyes are filled with them. He's falling through smoke under a dead sun. A voice calls him home. Is this a vision? Whose? Is this the time of the lost gods? Or the future? No matter. What mattered now was killing his way to the Imperial outpost and challenging the Emperor from there. Renato wondered if his future self had commissioned these poles. exploration.
bard when you needed one. Renato had been the terror of the sandcastles when he was too... Ahead was Lupino. What was he doing here? Bernardo! <laughs> hey, buddy! Hey there, old buddy! Please don't kill me! Why would I kill you? asked Bernardo, although he had been thinking about it. Well, uh, you've become. Uh, no, no, no. I mean, no disrespect at all here. Uh, kind of evil? Maybe uh, you should. I don't know. Uh, Go to the mountains to have a think? See if maybe you're sure the stone is not all that healthy a thing to keep? I suppose you wanted, Bernardo said, and poked Lapino in the chest for emphasis. Oh, had he just killed Lapino? Oh, damn it. <laughs> 